Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about de Broglie. So in previous videos I've spoken at length about the photoelectric effect and this is when a wave acts like a particle. You see a wave is interacting with an electron and the electron instantaneously leaves the material. Mass is being transferred with energy. That is a particle, that is a wave acting like a particle. Now another scientist called de Broglie or de Broglie depends on who's saying the name, stated the, obvious, the, the opposite. If a wave can act like a particle, why can't a particle act like a wave? And he noticed this when he looked at electrons. Now, when he put electrons through some carbon and on to, so he accelerated some electrons through this carbon and onto the wall, he got this. This is the pattern he got. He got a very bright bit and he kept getting dark bits and bright bits and dark bits and bright bits. That's interference. That is diffraction. This then posed the question that electrons can diffract. When they go through a gap, they diffract and they interfere with each other. That is a wave property. De Broglie did some calculations and he worked out that everything has a wavelength. Every object has a wavelength when it is travelling. And this is the formula here. Wavelength is Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, divided by the object's mass and the object's velocity. The only reason that electrons were able to be noticed was because their mass is low. The mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. So if I had an electron moving at, let's say, a tenth of the speed of light, let's find out what its wavelength would be. So I have 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 over 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times 0.3 times 10 to the 8. So 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times by 0.3 times 10 to the 8, I get an answer of 2, 4, 2.43 times 10 to the minus 11. That is above the visual spectrum, but it's below gamma. It's observable. If I was to put in my mass, or your mass, so we're talking anywhere between 50 and 100 kilos here, or more or less, we're going to get here, because this is so tiny, it's just going to get even tinier. So minus 34 divided by 100 is going to be minus 36. So this becomes into the non-observable region. In fact, it's smaller than the strong nuclear force. Remember, 0.5 femtometers. But this here, this diffraction pattern, proved that electrons are acting like waves, which brought to the idea of this wave-particle duality, that in some cases, waves can act like particles, and particles can act like waves. This was groundbreaking in the laws of physics because it was very different to what we had interfered with, uh, it, uh, very different to what we would deal with the classic Newtonian particle physics and classic wave physics.